there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com. I wanted to bring you this quick little video tutorial to show you how to build a brand kit using Canva for work. Now, um, I know that many of you, uh, many of you may or may, or may not know, but uh, Canva is uh, <laughs> the rockstar graphic design tool that I use. Um, and um, it's very powerful. I've been using this, this tool for some years now. I've actually um, recently also released a book about it <laughs> because I love the tool so much. It's called Life's Canva Action. In case you're interested and you want to learn more about that resource, you can just click the link below to uh, go over and check it out. Uh, but anywho, Canva is one of the staples in my DIY graphic design and branding um, arsenal. And so what I wanted to show you really quickly today is how to create a brand kit using Canva for work. Now, before I get off into this video, just to give you guys a little brief, um, you know, a little brief overview of Canva. Canva, the differences between Canva, the free version, and Canva for work. Okay, so Canva, the free version is just that. It's the free tool that you can use for graphic design. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that you can get access to and all of that good stuff. Canva for work is the premium version of Canva where you pay, I think it's $12.95 per month, and you get access to things like the resize feature. Um, you get access to um, you know resources like um, uh, turning your backgrounds on some of your designs transparent, which we know that can be really important, especially if you're creating things like mockups and logos and some other things too. But one of the biggest resources that you get access to with Canva for work is called your brand brand kit okay so this is what it is I'm gonna go here I'm signed into my Canva account I am using Canva for work and so under your brand I'm gonna click on that and this is essentially where it's gonna take you okay now as you can see these are some of the uh, these are all of the fonts and things and and you know logos and all of that kinds of stuff that I have in my brand kit now what I love about this is that in this brand kit section you can come here and you can do things like add your brand colors I don't know about you but uh, whenever I'm doing designs and stuff like that um, especially for my brand it is so it makes it so easy or this uh, this brand kit makes it so easy in Canva to apply my color schemes to apply my fonts to my designs to upload and use my logo to upload um, other fonts that maybe I want to use for different projects but it just really makes it super duper easy but anyway the first section is your color palettes okay um, this is where again you come in and you can just uh, click on this little plus here and it's going to add you to add your hexadecimal color code okay and so you can just add all of your colors in here and then apply those colors to your designs okay another thing that you can do with canva for work that you cannot do with the free version is you can add your font combinations okay so um, they have a section here for your heading fonts they have a section for your subheadings and your text okay and again this is really helpful when you're doing designs because it helps you keep everything super consistent okay super cohesive and consistent with your designs. Another section that they have in the Canva for Work section brand kit is the logos section. So maybe you have several logo designs that you want to use. Maybe you have a main logo, a submark, you know, um, and, and some other stuff that you want to apply to your cup to your design so that you can brand things cohesively. Well, this is where you would come to upload your logo designs. Okay. And then last but not least, this is probably one of the uh, better features of Canva for work, the brand kit section. This is the fonts section. So as an example, Canva, the free version and the regular version has a lot of different free fonts that you can get access to. But maybe for your branding, maybe you have a specific font that you want to use in your designs. Well, with Canva for work, if you wanted to do that, all you need to do is come under the section that says uploaded fonts and click on upload a new font to upload the font that you want to use and apply to your designs. So essentially all you have to do is just go download the font, make sure that it's something that is 100% free for commercial and personal use or it's the font that you've already paid for, like from a resource like Creative Market. And I'll have a link below to Creative Market to fonts so you can go and check out some of the fonts and things that they have. So for example, um, I do a lot of um, 
uh, designs and things for for customers and people that want you know uh, graphics packs and things like that for their businesses and so sometimes I have to use different fonts I have to use fonts that are not available in Canva the free version and so whenever I have to do that I just simply go out I, I download their font and I upload it to Canva and then I can apply that font to their specific design to make sure that their branding is consistent and cohesive okay so um, this is just some of the, the the great things that you can do with Canva for work so I'm I'm just going to take you show you this um, how to apply or how to use the brand kit and show you how it works in action so I'm gonna go to create a design really quickly um, I'm gonna go to the social media post which is the 800 by 800 image um, I'm going to find an image uh, let's see here let me just find something for free okay I'll use this one okay so this is how the brand kit works and this is why it's so great so for example you know, I don't want to use this pinkish color, right? This is not a part of my brand's color scheme, so I don't want to use this. So if I wanted to change this color using a color in my brand kit in Canva for Work, all I have to do is go over here, click plus. As you can see, it says brand colors. So you see how cool that is? So if I wanted to use this color, I can do that. I can use this color. I can use this yellow color, which is really nice, or I can use this black color, okay? But for example, maybe I wanted to use this color, okay? So that's changed. So right here where it says save the date, I'm going to click on this font. I'm going to go back over here. And as you can see, here are my brand fonts. So if I wanted to use Montserrat, I can just do that. And then maybe I would unbold it. Okay. In this section here, this is Playfair Display. This is not one of my fonts. So maybe I want to use Oswald. Okay. And then maybe down here, I'm going to come back over and I'm going to use Montserrat again. Okay. So you see how easy that is, and then maybe I want to change the color on this one to maybe this or something like that, and just kind of play around with the colors, so on and so forth in my brand kit. So essentially, this is some of the magic that you can do with the Canva brand kit. I mean, again, it's been one of the things that has been super duper helpful for me, especially the font section, because again, I do work on some um, other projects and things like that for people. Um, and so I have to have uh, access to, I have to be able to use their fonts and upload their fonts into the designs that I create for them. So anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little overview of Canva's brand kit. Um, you know, if you like this video, please be sure to share it with others. But this is just one of the things that you can do. Actually, here's another thing too, I forgot. So, um, and this is just Canva for work, but um, this is one of the, the major things that I do like. So for instance, if I don't want to start over and have to try to redesign or resize this design, if maybe if I want to change it to another kind of design or another size, I can just go to File, Magic Resize, and then I can change it to whatever size or whatever um, template I need to use. So for example, if I wanted to use this as an ebook cover, which I would not do that, I can just easily click this to select it and change it to an ebook size. Presentation, the same thing. Pinterest graphic, the same thing. So, but for the brand kit, uh, this is, you know, one of the things that I love. Like I said, it's, it's really powerful. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. And it's really helpful for DIY design because it makes it easy for you to access all of your brand essentials and your brand's um, um, your brand's, um, uh, what am I, what am I trying to say? Your brand essentials, essentially, essential. I can't even talk guys, <laughs> but it makes it easy for you to, to access your brand assets. Ha! That's the word. Your brand assets when you need them, when you're doing your designs. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little um, overview of the brand kit. And uh, yeah, I'll be putting more videos out here about Canva and just some of the great things that you can do. So stay tuned and uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. <laughs>